All right, YouTube, Smokey1979 here. I'm going to do this quick little video just because I uploaded one the other day and um, kind of preluded to some of my projects I had going on, and I'm not going to get into all of them because I can make a really long video. So what I want to do is just kind of show you this video of what I've got going on. So uh, it's going to be kind of short. Um, start going i guess i'm in about a halfway process right now i'm gonna kind of cover where i'm at at this moment and then i'm gonna go into uh what else i got going on and hopefully um maybe in the next week or so be done with this project or really close to it anyway so the old ram here you know i, I fixed the rear end last week um well it's been more than a week you know you know how time flies you get busy with work and doing uh, doing stuff and next thing you know weekends just kind of run together uh it's probably been a month ago i fixed the rear end i uh, put some new clutch packs in it put some new spider gears in it uh the dana 70 um it had been popping and kind of clanking some for the last about seven years and it just got gradually worse and worse and worse and i had pulled pulled the div checked the fluid you know no chunks or nothing so i just kept driving it so finally now that I've downed the truck, you know, I went in and I fixed that. Um, seems like all that's gone. Project that I am working on now though. So if you've got one of these trucks, you know how much of a pain, how much work it is, expensive it is to do the hub assemblies on these, uh, the bearing hub assemblies, you know, they're a piece of junk i don't know who thought about about it um you know my factory ones lasted a long time but after they went out i go through a i go through a new one every year and a half maybe you know and for me i don't change both sides at one time um 300 bucks a pop you know i just don't change them out i just do the one that needs it and next thing you know you're um six months later the other side's out so kind of that's how i've been going on for the last I don't know how many years I've owned this truck for almost 14 years now so down in the truck I needed to put seals in the axles already and that's what's up here I got one for this side and one for the other side and that's the axle tube seals that go kind of up in here behind that little hole there deal you know it's casting I guess it's back behind that actually where one of them goes and one on the other side so I've already knocked my old ones out um, so what I've wanted to do for a long time is put the lockout hub conversion on here. You know, they're $1,500, $1,800, uh, depending on where you go. Uh, I'm not made out of money. Uh, just an old country boy, you know, trying to have something. I do what I can with what I got. Uh, I've done a lot of little things on this truck over the years. Um, so I had done a lot of reading on the Cummins forums, uh, pavement sucks, those different kind of websites. And saw where you know people had done the Ford Dana 60 or Dana 50 outer conversions on these axles. Now, from what I understand, off the top of my head, a 96 to a 99, I believe it is. You pretty much don't have any kind of issues. It's the 99 ups because of the ABS sensors. Well, my ABS. Um, computer is bad already it's been bad for a year or more probably a year and a half so my abs lights always been on it's actually unplugged it didn't work so hey i've been driving it all this time with no issues what's what's just not having it period i mean set us putting the money into getting it repaired or buying a new one or whatever so ball joints i've already put new ball joints in on this side i did that about uh three months ago maybe or so i got to do the other side i already have them um yeah you know, that's pretty much self-explanatory the lockout hub to let's get back to that i don't want to get off topic here so basically what you need to get is a 92 to a 98 i believe it is dana 50 or dana 60 depends on which way you want to do it ford front end yeah, not a Dana 44 8 lug. It's got to be a Dana 50 or the Dana 60. If you get the Dana 60, you could use the knuckles out. Everything from the knuckles out on that Dana. Um, and swap it all over. Um, and you're in business. If you can get a good deal on them. 
you know, around where I live at, they they run. I see them as low as seven hundred, but usually they're nine hundred to a thousand dollars. You know, hey, I really, you know, really don't have that. Really don't want to put that. I got other projects going on here too. So what I did was I sourced a Dana fifty TTB front end out of a burnt truck. It was a drivable truck. It caught on fire. It burned. So I sourced that front end. Um, I did some horse trading. I love to horse trade. You know, hey, I get things cheap. I find things, whatever. You know, I get things I want, and then I don't want it later. Um, you know how it is if you do that. So I took, and this guy had, uh, this guy wanted a couple things I had that I really didn't need. And a um, little money to boot. I think I threw $40 in the boot with some trading. And I had to drive about two hours. Uh, it kind of worked out great because I was selling something and a guy was driving a long ways and didn't really want to drive all the way to me. Um, and this was kind of not far out of the way. So I got to meet this guy on the way back and sell something else I had. So that kind of really worked out good because I probably wouldn't have been able to done the deal because it was going to be too far for that guy to drive. So I... um. Got this, got this axle, complete axle, complete everything. Might have, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I may stretch and get, have 200 in it. And when I say 200, that means the value of what I traded and stuff. Now, as far as cash, I got gas and 40 bucks in it. So I got maybe $60 in it, my, my driving distance and everything, cash wise. What I took and done is you cannot use the Dana 50 knuckles here. If you look, you cannot use these um they won't they won't work um i am reusing my dana 60 knuckles off my dodge front end but i use the hubs and the spindles off this dana 50 front end this is out of a 95 dodge uh ford f-250 but it is a dana 50 it's cast on the pumpkin itself 50 um i'm using those because they're the same exact thing as a dana 60 now the outer axles you cannot use the outer dodge ones because they're really short if you've ever looked at them they're stubs and you cannot use the ford dana 50s either because they're short you got to have a dana 60 outer axle that is 11 and a half inches i believe off the top of my head long um those will work not the, I think Chevrolets are 12 inches long. It's from what I've read, it's the 11 and a half inch one forward one. So I've got my spindles here, got my Dodge knuckles. Now you're like, well, the Dodges have five holes, four holes. The Ford spindle has five. Yes. So what I did, because these do press right into that Dodge knuckle, they pressed, I've already pressed them in, I don't know how many times. What I did was press them in. <clears throat> if you take and spin this thing, now you can do it different ways, but the way I did it, if you spin this thing, one of these bolt holes will line up and not allow these to be half and half with other holes. You don't want to do that, but you can only do that one way. So I got it to line up. I finally figured where it was. I lined it up. I drilled it from the backside, of course. You can weld these up if you want. I don't really see much need to um strengthen it or anything for looks you're not gonna see it um I, you know different strokes different folks i'm not welding it um i bought grade eight bolts washers nuts I'm gonna use red, red loctite press those well you know once those pull in with the bolts they'll pull back in and um tighten it all down the bolts aren't necessarily supporting this all the way because this is riding inside of that that you know it's pressed inside that knuckle it's fitting in there so that's actually supporting it this is just keeping it together um the the the, the dana 60 axles i sourced off of ebay 120 bucks got a deal on them um sourced them had to clean them up a little bit but they weren't too bad that's for the pair um the hubs here i had to buy two of the outer seals because i knock them out to pull the bearings out um the bearings were great i mean no issues grease still all in there nothing dry no water damage anything 
cleaned everything up good. I've done packed those bearings. I got them covered up so no dirt gets on them. I've done put this bearing in up here and put this seal in, that one too. Um, my axles are over at my friend's house right now. He's kind of helping me. Um, he's going to help me pull those U-joints out because he's better at it than I am, to be honest with you, and there is nothing wrong with them. And I'm one of those people, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't really have money to throw around. Why do I want to have 80 bucks, 100 bucks instead of U-joints um, when there's nothing wrong with them? So, you know, he's going to help me one evening here in the next day or two, press them on out, put my Ford axle shafts on, the, the Dodge ones, and then put these seals in here. And I'm going to be ready to put this side back together. I'm actually using the Dodge brake caliper dodge brake pads and i'm using the ford rotors which came off that axle again that i have over here junk i've already stripped down um i didn't see nothing wrong with them if they're worn a little bit you know maybe uh again my biggest thing right now i'm kind of like y'all if you haven't done it maybe i've read some articles but haven't seen a youtube video on this yet i'm trying to get it together get it together make sure it works now if it works hey i can go buy new brake rotors later down the line if they're if they're wore down some um i'm gonna go that route uh bearings they were great they look great i don't see no issues i don't see i even had somebody else look at them a friend that, that does a lot of this kind of stuff he looked at them made sure he's like hey i don't see nothing wrong with them so they're cheap they're like 15 bucks a piece so if i gotta fix them later hey i've got the front end together there's nothing to take it apart pull the bearings out put it back together um uh, I'm not paying somebody to do it. I do it. So, only thing that I do not have that I will have to purchase is lockout hubs. The axle that I bought had automatic lockout hubs. Well, I sold those on eBay. You know, hey, I made some money. So, that kind of just chips away at that axle, you know. I told you I had about 60 bucks cash in it. Well, I sold those for like $80. So, I don't even really have $60 cash in it. I just have the items I traded for. No big deal. So that's about the end of this video. I know I don't really show no work. I don't have a GoPro and all that other stuff. I'm I'm filming off my phone. I'm by myself. I don't have the pods, nothing like that. Um, I, I use YouTube a lot for videos, and then there's times that I see things that could be done a little better or things that I don't even see, like this video, that I'm just kind of trying to get into and put out there maybe for people I'm throwing the info out there. I'm kind of showing you because if you like me, you can read things, but you actually want to see it. So we're going to get these off in the next week or two, hopefully get this side together afterwards. But I'm going to try to get that other side for sure, since I already have brand new U-joints in it. Um, so hopefully in the next week or two, my goal is to start putting this front end back together and do a little video on it and show the fitment and showing how things line up and how it really looks instead of a picture you know as you see online i'm gonna try to you know get some close shots of the u-joints and everything to align it um hey i'm hoping everything goes goes as planned and nothing's wrong because if it is then i'm gonna have to do something different maybe but uh you know a couple people say they have done this so far uh i'm looking at maybe having 300 bucks in this whole process maybe if i had to say if you didn't have things to horse trade you were going out buying new bearings you were going out buying new lockouts which i am going to buy new lockouts um if you went out and bought brand new axles i found the axle shafts 35 splines for like 90 bucks um bearings 100 bucks something like that um you, you probably could still do this for $500 repl replacing a lot of brand new stuff. But, um, you know, if y'all ever run these bearings before, you know, as long as they're kept, kept maintained, grease maybe once a year, I've heard people run them 10, 12, 15 years really with no kind of issues as long as they're well maintained, water not getting in them and things like that. And these looked fine. There, there was no kind of damage. So um, this is my project I got going on. My Dana 50 dana slash 60 ford dodge hybrid conversion going on here so hopefully in another week or two i can do you another video and maybe got some progress to show you where i'm at and if is it working or is it not working um 
y'all take care until next time uh we'll we'll, we'll keep y'all updated on this project you know i know i started a few and ain't really finished them on here yet but uh i'm kind of on a mission now to get some stuff done talk to y'all later